is going on everybody Brandon Havrilla back here from Red Max Entertainment and today we are taking a look at another software now this software is called GS Gaffer Gaffer Systems as it says right here it is a brand new high-tech stage plotter and planner so if you're looking to plan a show whether you are a lighting tech a production company a lighting designer um, if you own a DJ company and want to you know, be able to visualize some of your DJ setups, or if you just like kind of messing around and designing stuff and uh, moving stuff around for fun too, it's great for that. And this is this makes designing your stage plots and your DJ setups and stuff super easy, really user friendly as well. So this video is just kind of like an overview. I'm gonna dive into the software a little bit, show you some of the main features of it, um, and this is going to lead us into a tutorial series. My guess is probably about 10 videos long and each video will have a certain topic that it addresses um, within the software how to do certain things and as you guys know this software is brand new it just was released um, a day or two ago to the public they had a beta out for a little while um, but it just came out and this is the new version of the software so there's still some bugs and some things they've got a long list of things that they plan on adding and fixing and changing and all that so just keep that in mind as you're watching this tutorial series and as you see other things on Facebook as well um, that it is still under construction in a sense and um, any input you guys have as you can see I'm on their website right now if you go over to the forum on their website which is gaffersystems.com and then you can go to slash forums bugs and known issues, general discussion, ideas, and support. So these are all forum pages that you can um, talk on. And as you see under ideas, if you have any new ideas, add front fill. So there we go. This guy wants some front fill speakers. Um, DMX universe and addressing. That's a feature um, I was looking at too, um, to be able to address your fixtures or print out a sheet with the addressing. So then you know what to do or you can hand it to a crew, something like that. So there's a lot of cool ideas and they are really taking all these into consideration the team at gaffer systems is really incredible so anyway i want to get started and dive right into the software so here we are this is gaffer system software all right now this is a project that i have just kind of been messing around with a little bit and i built a stage as you can see i used some trussing to kind of create some some structure I used some raised stage decks. Um, I was just messing around. I put two little fog machines out here in the corners. I've got some security barricades across the front, some stairs up to the stage, monitors, some microphone stands, a percussion kit, keyboard, uh, some line array speakers. If I go around to kind of a top view here and look down behind the um, barricades here, I have some subwoofers that I put out. Uh, the percussion is on like a raised glass kind of stage with some amps down in front. And then I've got a whole bunch of lights. So I've got some park hands back here, some moving heads mounted up here, both beams and washes. And uh, some kind of Fresnel fixtures here to kind of give like a white wash and spot, you know, the keyboardist and the drummer, stuff like that. I've got some beams here I didn't get to mess around with too much yet. So, and then as you can see in the back, I've got kind of a white wall um, back here. And that's using a fabric command, which we'll talk about again in a later video. But I kind of want to show you just an overview of some of the basic stuff in this software. So as you can see, the software has tons of possibilities. My most favorite feature um, that I was certainly not expecting is that you can actually grab any moving head or fixture, um, the Fresnels and the PARs, and you could adjust their pan, their tilt, their intensity. You can make them strobe. So if I do this, you'll see the purple beam starting to strobe. If I move it right in here, you can see it strobing right here. So you can make the light strobe, and of course you could change the colors too with RGB color mixing, um, which is really cool and super handy um, to kind of visualize your shows and see what the beams are actually gonna look like. And then, you know, maybe you do this and you say, oh, I, I should really put this moving head up on this top tier so I can get this kind of effect or whatever. And it helps you because then if you actually go to do this show, you know that you want them up here and you don't end up putting them up here first and then having to go up on a ladder or whatever you do to have to change it. It could save you a lot of time and work as well. So up here we've got our file, which is where we can create a new show, a saved show, or load a previous show, and of course quit. We've also got windows. So this is our main working window, but there's also a packing list window. So when I click that, you'll see it comes up with a 
list of items to pack for the job. It tells you the weight of the item, which you can adjust for each item, and it tells you the quantity and the name of each item. So here's your truss, um, barricades, you know, 12 of them. So you can create your show exactly how you want it and then just get this packing list and you know hand it to a crew member or whatever and know what to pack for the job up across the top we've got some key commands and buttons that you're going to want to use this is your main light so right now you can see it's dark so you can kind of see the beams we could bring this up so you get a lot of main light to work in as i bring this main light up you are able to see that the ground is actually grass it's green grass that's this next one here you can go from stone to grass you could do Let's see, snow, which is very white, obviously, and then planks. Planks is a new one. It's probably my favorite. It's like a wood floor. Of course, not for a concert thing like this, but when I'm working with my DJ setups, um, I love the plank look. It makes you look like you're in a venue. And of course, you could set up truss in a square and create a room for your DJ setup. Next over, you have your perspective. So there's the 3D view, which we're in right now. And then there's also a 2D view. So the 2D view as you can see is just like this it's just a 2d thing we cannot move around and view it from all different angles we just see this one 2d kind of look when we go into 3d we are able to move around completely in 360 degrees and see our show as you can see i've got some stuff sticking through the back here next over we have our camera mode so right now i am in camera uh yeah, right now I am in camera mode. That's what it's called. And this is, allows me to kind of move around and zoom in and out like this and really kind of move around and place items very easily. The next mode is person mode, which kind of drops you onto the ground and allows you to kind of walk around like a person. I find it tough to build in this mode. And I also, as you can see, it's still glitching a little bit. So I'm sure that is a bug that they're going to be working on. But again, personally, I find it easier to work in the camera mode. You can easily move around and just place items. Last but not least, we have the orientation. This is kind of a quick jump mode from front. We can go to the top and instantly get a top view. So if I zoom out a little bit, you can see is my drums, the front of the stage. Um, so it's a quick way we can hop to the back to kind of get a view of all of your yeah, you know, all of your shows from all different angles. Then, of course, we've got Zoom. Um, we've got this is going to, when you hold Shift and click this button, it's going to allow you to move around, which can also be achieved by holding in the scroll button and Shift on your mouse, just like this. Next, this little camera is going to be a snapshot button, so that allows you to take a quick picture. It'll zoom out and give you a full-scale picture, save it to your computer, and open up the window in which it saved it. Speaking of computers, this software is available for Mac and Windows users, which makes it super useful. And I saw something on their website just recently um, that there is an option for an app, I think for iPhones and iPads, maybe Android devices too, which allows you to save your finished versions on the app, um, I'm assuming to your account, and pull them up. So if you're at the show, you can pull it up kind of like a blueprint. Um, and I'm sure you can access the, you know, the packing list and all that too. So I'm not sure if that's something that's out yet, but I know as soon as it is out or as soon as I get a hold of the software a little more, we'll definitely have a separate video just on that app which would be really cool and how to get that all working. Last but not least, we have this little button of tiles in the top corner, which allows us to unclick and click the grid. So it allows us to kind of line things up a little bit more, make sure things are centered. Um, so that's a cool feature as well, because when you take your snapshots, you could turn that off and make the pictures look a little nicer and a little more real. Down at the bottom here, we've got our items. So we've got tons of different categories here, audio, video, backline, platform, security, trusses, and there's all sorts of stuff in each of these. As you can see, we've got lights. So if I go into audio, for example, here is all of the audio items that they have right now, and you can break it down into even more categories. So if you want just speakers, there are just your speakers. If we go to 12 inch, you'll see it gives you a little preview up here, gives you the name, 
and then as you'll see my cursor is moving around a 12 inch speak speaker so excuse me which i can then place around um and create things with it that way to drop this item you could easily hit escape and um, then you're back to your pointer and you can move around. So once again, guys, thanks for checking out this video. This is Gaffer Systems. If you're interested, be sure to visit their website. I'll have the link in the description. Um, and the full version is available now, so you can purchase it and use it. Otherwise, you can happily hang out and uh, subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I post the next video, which will be our first tutorial video. And um, like I said, we'll have a series coming out. So if you do decide to get this software or you already have this software, be sure to subscribe to my channel. This way you'll get notified when I post a new video and you can stay up to date with all the tutorials on this awesome new software from Gaffer Systems. Once again, guys, Brandon Havrilla from Red Max Entertainment. Hope you enjoyed.